Thanks. Uh, but of course, half term this week and lots of people travelling, getting away on holiday. Um, kids getting a bit of sunshine, maybe heading to the beach, to the coast. Um, I want to find out what life is like at the beach and what it's like for people that run staycations in the UK. Uh, Andy Banner Price from Litchfield and his partner Julian run the 25 Boutique in Torquay on the English Riviera. It's twice been voted the best B&B in the world by TripAdvisor. This sounds right at my street and I'm thrilled that Andy joins me this morning. Hi, Andy. Hi, Elise. Morning. Morning. Thank you, my love, for getting up early. I'm sure you're busy, busy at the moment as well. So Yes, this, this isn't early for me. I'm usually up at half five. Oh, we have gosh. to be ready for, for guest breakfast. So wow. <laughs> it, early mornings. Andy, tell me. I mean, gosh, you, this is quite an accolade. The best B&B in the world, voted uh, by TripAdvisor. What... What is it like, you know, running something like that, especially at a time where people have been locked away for so long and are excited to get back out on holiday? How's it been for you? Um, it was a bit scary last year when we reopened because um, everything was completely new and nobody had actually kind of gone out to the big wide world. But this year, I think everyone um, is, is much more relaxed because most people have had at least one vaccination yeah. um, because we, we only take, um, we're adults only, and most of our guests are, are kind of, you know, over 50. Um, so they're quite happy to, to come out. And we've still got lots of precautions in place, like wearing yeah. fast face masks indoors and stuff. So they feel really, um, really safe, but glad to be on holiday and, and yeah. uh, getting, getting out of the house for a change. Oh, gosh, I bet. I bet you've got some very happy customers coming through your doors this week. Uh, tell me, Andy, a bit about the 25 Boutique in Torquay. So we have six bedrooms. Um, we've been open for almost six years now, um, and we we just try and um, we're trying to do, I suppose, what a five star hotel does, but in miniature right. and make it much more personal. So um, you're welcomed with, with a complimentary drink and my famous chocolate brownies. Oh. Uh, it's one of my daily treats in the room every day. So you've got cake or biscuits or fudge in the room mm. um, and you're treated as a person rather than just a, a number. Um, right. So and uh, so lots of our guests are, are repeat guests. They come back year after year and uh, and we get to know them really well. And um, it's just a really nice friendly atmosphere to stay in and then but on top of that everything's really high spec so all our rooms are, have smart features and smart tvs and netflix and comfy seating areas and yeah. uh, lms toiletries and you know uh, everything you can possibly think of or didn't oh. even know that you wanted is already in the room Andy, you've sold it to me. My gosh, it sounds absolutely <laughs> dreamy. I mean, I love a staycation. And obviously, because of us not being able to travel abroad for so long, people are loving, you know, getting away to different parts of the UK. And Torquay is particularly popular. Um, what made you decide to go down to Torquay and run this business in the first place? Because you're originally from Litchfield, I hear. Yeah, we, we love um, this area, because, well, for various reasons. Partly the, the weather's obviously brilliant down here on the, the south coast. Um, mm. We generally have... have um, drier and sunnier weather which is brilliant um but on top of that the area has some fantastic restaurants so there's plenty of places to eat whatever type of cuisine you want we've we've got some fantastic restaurants and um, fresh if you like fish then we have fresh seafood caught only just over the the harbour in um, in Brixham wow. and there's loads of things to do so there's loads of tourist attractions and lots of walking we've got the south coast path and mm. um so and everything's in walking distance as well so you can park up or come on the train and then you don't actually need transport you can just walk everywhere or catch one of our ferries or we've got a land train uh, so it's dead easy to get about and and just um, just relax you know fully in the sun having a G&T or a pint in the sun there's nothing better Oh, I, can't, I can't agree with you more. It's a, it's, it's a wonderful thing. And obviously this week, half term, obviously I know you run an adult B&B, but are we expecting a lot of people into Torquay this week, Andy? Are you prepared for the busy uh, the busyness that's about to take place? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's already started. We um, I, I probably on Saturday had 50 phone calls asking if we'd got any rooms. Have you? Um, oh I could have sold our, our rooms over and over and over. Um, the... the the problem is that um, kind of bank holidays, people book up really early, even mm. in normal circumstances. Um, so everywhere was really rammed. But um, most, a lot of people have got some kind of a few gaps coming this coming week. They're still very, very busy, but um, it might be worth looking uh, for some last minute deals this week. 
Um, and then, but generally this year, we're, we're, everybody's being fairly organised and, and booking up early. So that, that would be my advice. If you're thinking of going away, book somewhere um, and book early so that you, you get somewhere nice to stay. Yeah, definitely. We had this problem last year because I remember we tried to get away, um, you know, when everything reopened for the first time and the hotel started yeah. opening up, we were headed yeah. down to Cornwall. It was a nightmare. And because you have to book, like you say, so far in advance because people are, are taking their holidays and they're staying in the UK. So, you know, like you say, you've got to got to get in there early. Um, yeah. I'm interested to know, Andy, what, what sort of percentage of your trade comes from the Midlands? Um, probably about... 30-ish percent, okay. um, quite, quite, a, a, quite a high amount. We, mm. we kind of, uh, it's one of our kind of three main catchment areas. We kind of have the Midlands and then kind of Bristol and South Wales and, and then London um, mm. are the kind of the main three areas that we get guests from. But we're, um, we're looking fairly, um, fairly busy next year already. We've got quite a few bookings for next year. So um, if... If guests are, are, can't get in this year, then um, then you know, particularly if you've got a special occasion like a birthday or something that you want yeah. to go away for, then it's worth thinking about next year, um, knowing that it will probably be busy again next year because I, I don't know whether flights will be completely back to normal or whether people will have the confidence to be going abroad next year. So yeah. it's worth thinking about booking something up this year. This is it. Uh, thank you, Andy, so much for joining me this morning. It sounds fantastic. The 25 Boutique in Torquay, like Andy says, books up extremely quickly. If you're thinking of getting across there or if you're thinking of heading down to Torquay, make sure you book, book, book in advance. Cheers, Andy. Lovely to chat to somebody who's in this beautiful part